Picture this, it's 1976. The disco era is in full swing and the television landscape is adorned with a kaleidoscope of colors. You're nestled comfortably on your family's retro couch, the glow of your trusty tube TV casting a warm, inviting light across the room. Suddenly, the screen bursts to life, and a cascade of glittering lights and groovy tunes heralds the arrival of none other than the Brady Bunch, but not in their usual setting. No, this time, Fave traded their suburban abode for the dazzling stage of the Brady Bunch variety hour. As you watch, your eyes widen in wonderment at the Brady family's transformation into showbiz stars, complete with sequined costumes and musical numbers that defy gravity. It's a collision of two worlds, the wholesome Brady family you've come to know and love, and the flamboyant world of variety television. This is a moment that etches itself into the tapestry of your pop culture memories. Now, as we journey back to those bell-bottom days, let's uncover some fascinating tidbits about the Brady Bunch Variety Hour. It's a show that defied convention, blurring the lines between fiction and reality, and left an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers. Get ready for a trip down memory lane, where the Brady's harmonious tunes met the glitz, and glamour of the 1970s entertainment world. The Brady Bunch Variety Hour, which aired in 1976, emerged as a spin-off of the beloved 1970s sitcom The Brady Bunch. The show featured the iconic Brady family, known for their wholesome charm, and introduced them to the world of variety television. Staying true to the Brady style, the series retained its classic characters, including Mike and Carol Brady, their six children, and the quirky housekeeper Alice. The unique blend of music, comedy, and dance routines was a departure from the sitcom format, as the Bradys sang, danced, and interacted with celebrity guests. Despite its attempt to capture the spirit of variety shows of the era, the Brady Bunch Variety Hour faced challenges and mixed reviews, with its over-the-top production and unusual format. However, its impact on popular culture cannot be denied. It showcased the enduring appeal of the Brady family and demonstrated their versatility beyond the confines of a traditional sitcom. Although short-lived, the show remains a curious relic of its time, reflecting the ever-evolving landscape of entertainment in the 1970s. In 1976, the Brady Bunch variety hour hit the TV screens, but it came with its fair share of behind-the-scenes drama and challenges. One notable fact is that Eve Plum, who played Jan Brady, initially had limited involvement in the show. Her father negotiated a deal for her to do the pilot plus five episodes. However, the network insisted on a 13-episode contract with a five-year option, which meant a longer commitment than she had originally planned. Another intriguing aspect was the return of Ann B. Davis, who portrayed Alice, the Brady's housekeeper. Initially, there were no plans to include Alice in the show, and bringing Davis back proved to be a challenge. She had left showbiz, moved to Denver, and was volunteering at a vicarage, giving lectures, leading worship, and doing chores. Her agent had to track her down and ask her to do a cameo, which ultimately led her to sign on for the entire series. Additionally, Rip Taylor joined the cast after the pilot episode. Producers Sid Croft and Marty Croft felt that the show lacked a comedy element. They had a positive experience working with Taylor on Sigmund and the Sea Monsters, so they added him to the mix, enhancing the show's humor. These facts shed light on some of the interesting and unexpected developments during the production of the Brady Bunch Variety Hour, showcasing the challenges and decisions made behind the scenes that shaped the show's trajectory. The Brady Bunch Variety Hour, a 1976 TV series, had its share of interesting behind-the-scenes facts. However, there isn't substantial information available regarding marijuana and cocaine use in the writer's room or the supposed romantic involvement between characters. Instead, here's an intriguing tidbit. The show was memorialized in the 2009 coffee table book Love to Love You Brady's, co-authored by cast member Susan Olson. This book offered fans a unique glimpse into the behind-the-scenes world of the Brady Bunch Variety Hour, sharing anecdotes and memories from those involved in the production. It's a testament to the enduring appeal of the Brady Bunch franchise and the special place the Variety Hour holds in television history. In the 1976 TV series The Brady Bunch Variety Hour, one notable aspect was the massive swimming pool used on the set. The pool measured 45 feet in length, 25 feet in width, and had a depth of 5 feet 8 inches. 
This impressive pool was a central feature of the show, often used for various performances and comedic sketches. Another interesting tidbit about the series involves Susan Olsen, who portrayed Cindy Brady. Network chief Fred Silverman reportedly sent word down that he considered her overweight, leading to uncomfortable meetings and conversations on the set. This incident sheds light on the pressures and expectations faced by actors in the entertainment industry during that era. Anne B. Davis, famous for her role as Alice, had strong feelings about the show. She considered the Brady Bunch variety hour such an unmitigated disaster that she refused to discuss it in interviews. Davis' reluctance to talk about the series highlights the challenges and disappointments that can arise in the world of television production. These intriguing facts offer a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes dynamics of a unique and short-lived television series. The Brady Bunch Variety Hour remains a curious chapter in the history of television, marked by its extravagant set design, issues with body image, and the reluctance of one of its beloved cast members to acknowledge its existence. In 1976, the Brady Bunch Variety Hour hit the television screens, bringing the Brady family back in a new format. Here's a closer look at some interesting facts about the show, Jerry Reischel's hair transformation. Jerry Reischel, who played Jan Brady in the series, had bangs. To make her resemble the original Jan, Eve Plum, the hairstylists parted her hair in the middle and cleverly tucked the bangs under her longer tresses. Cast's musical talents, most of the cast members were no strangers to song and dance routines. The kids had already practiced choreography during the original show's run and even performed concerts between seasons. Florence Henderson, who portrayed Carol Brady, had a professional singing background. However, Robert Reed, who played Mike Brady, faced some challenges in dancing. According to Henderson, he had two left feet, resulting in minimal choreography for his character. Fake Jan Legacy, thanks to a series of light-hearted promos that aired in the 1990s on Naked Night, and TV Land, Jerry Rice to learn the nickname Fake Jan. Surprisingly, she embraces this moniker as a badge of honor, reflecting her unique place in the Brady Bunch lore. In the world of television, the Brady Bunch variety hour remains a memorable and sometimes quirky chapter in the Brady family's legacy. And as for Jerry Rice, she'll, she'll forever be celebrated as the unforgettable Fake Jan. The Brady Bunch Variety Hour, behind the glittering set in 1976, the Brady Bunch Variety Hour hit television screens, attempting to breathe new life into the beloved Brady family. However, behind the glitter and glamour of the show lay some intriguing facts. Christopher Knight's musical reluctance, Christopher Knight, known for playing Peter Brady, had quit the Brady Kids singing group a few years earlier due to his belief that he was tone deaf and had no dancing skills. When the Brady Bunch Variety Hour was proposed, he had no intention of participating. However, with Eve Plum absent from the project, producers were desperate to reunite the rest of the cast. They promised Knight that his musical performances would be limited to the opening and closing numbers. In the end, they didn't keep that promise. Sets transformed in the pilot episode. The show's primary sets were adorned with gaudy, multicolored glitter, giving the series a flashy appearance. However, as production progressed, changes were made. The color palette was toned down, and the excessive glitter was eliminated, giving the sets a more subdued look. While these facts shed light on some of the behind-the-scenes aspects of the Brady Bunch Variety Hour, it's clear that the show was not without its challenges and changes. Despite its brief run and unique take on the Brady family, it remains a notable piece of television history. Jerry Reischel's crush on Christopher Knight in the Brady Bunch Variety Hour in the 1976 TV series The Brady Bunch Variety Hour. Jerry Reischel, who played Jan Brady, developed a notable crush on her TV sibling, Christopher Knight, who portrayed Peter Brady. While not a central plot point of the show, this behind-the-scenes attraction added a layer of complexity to the dynamics within the Brady family. The chemistry between the cast members was evident both on and off the screen. Despite the professional nature of their relationship, the close quarters and extended time spent together during the production of the variety show led to Jerry Reischel's infatuation with Christopher Knight. This unrequited crush remained mostly under the radar, but it is a lesser known fact about the series. The Brady Bunch Variety Hour was a short-lived spin-off of the original Brady Bunch series, attempting to capitalize on the popularity of the Brady family. 
while Jerry Reischel's crush on Christopher Knight may not have been widely publicized at the time. It adds a unique dimension to the history of the show and the relationships among its cast members. This glimpse into the personal dynamics of the cast members during the production of the Brady Bunch Variety Hour sheds light on the human side of these beloved characters. Despite the passage of time, the show and its associated anecdotes continue to captivate fans and provide insight into the behind-the-scenes world of television. In 2011, Jerry Reischel released an album entitled 12 Riverside, which includes re-recordings of four songs that she performed on the show, Your Song, Southern Nights, Rose Garden, and I Believe in Music. She also released a music video on YouTube for Your Song, which includes many references to the Brady Bunch. However, the series itself did not have a long life. When the fall schedule was announced in April 1977, the show wasn't on it, but ABC programming chief Fred Silverman remarked to the Los Angeles Times that it would return as a series of occasional specials throughout the season. This never happened, leaving fans with just a single season of the variety show featuring the Brady family. In conclusion, Jerry Reischel's crush on her TV sibling Christopher Knight provides a unique insight into the dynamics of the Brady Bunch variety hour. Despite the show's short-lived run, it left a lasting mark on popular culture, and the personal stories of its cast members continue to fascinate fans to this day. As we bid adieu to the groovy world of the Brady Bunch Variety Hour, we embark on a journey down memory lane, inviting you to pause and reflect on your personal connection with this iconic 1976 TV series. This kaleidoscope of entertainment brought together the beloved Brady family in a way that was both unforgettable and quintessentially 70 seconds. Whether you were a fan since its debut or discovered it through reruns, the magic of the Brady Bunch Variety Hour has left an indelible mark on our hearts. From the catchy musical performances to the zany variety show antics, it was a delightful blend of wholesome family fun and the exuberance of that era. Now, it's your turn to shine in the spotlight. We invite you to share your favorite memories, your most cherished episodes, or even your thoughts on how this show shaped the pop culture landscape. Did you ever try to mimic their dance moves or sing along with the catchy tunes? Were you inspired by the Brady family's enduring bond, or did you simply revel in the nostalgia of it all? Your experiences are what make this show timeless. As we celebrate the Brady Bunch Variety Hour, we're reminded of the power of television to bring people together, bridging generations and creating lasting connections. So, go ahead, drop us a comment, and let your voice be heard. Share your stories, your laughter, and your love for this one-of-a-kind series. Thank you for taking this trip down memory lane with us. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated. Let's keep the Brady magic alive and continue spreading the love for the Brady Bunch Variety Hour. After all, it's a story worth celebrating, just like you. With heartfelt gratitude, 